of you not wearing a mask that have an exemption, please stand up. Okay, I'd like to ask the one gentleman that does not have an exemption to please leave the auditorium. My understanding of the ADA is completely different than when it was back in February of this year. From us, my, my recommendation to the board is make a motion, clarify it right now. You can do that and then staff will have the direction. We're trying to do whatever the, the board wants and we will implement that. Are we going to ask for any kind of uh, uh, written documentation of what this medical exemption is? Uh, Madam Chair, um, motion is people with health, health issues um, be allowed to enter and use the facilities without a mask or a face shield if they state that they have a, a medical issues. Motion does not carry. We do have a person in the audience that signed up to speak, which is uh, a little unusual. We have not been allowing uh, people to speak during the call to the public. In fact, we do not even have a call to the public on this. Um, Amanda Kaufman has signed up uh, on agenda item number one, so I'll ask for the county attorney's opinion on this. And, and also, uh, Amanda, if you have a mask, we need you to wear that during the meeting. Okay, thank you. Okay. No, it's not like a restaurant. We ask that you wear it the whole time. Okay, thank you. Well, good morning, Madam Chair, distinguished members of the board, uh, Attorney Esplin, uh, of course, Mr. Elters, and our lovely clerk of the board, Jenny Anderson. It's nice to see you all today. Buster on the phone, hello. We can anticipate seeing more and more grants coming before you. We believe strongly in uh, pursuing grants to save taxpayer money in our ongoing efforts to increase uh, our capabilities. Any questions for me? I would, I would, you can't fund the whole sheriff's department and claim it's all COVID because that's not what the guys are doing. They're out there enforcing the law. Oh. Correct. Correct. Uh, Madam Chair, Supervisor Angus, yes. I do believe that the 2.5% was intended for employees, not contracted employees. But we were a well, if, if you would uh, take over. You bet. Uh, good morning, board, uh, chairman, uh, Supervisor Gould. Madam Chair, Commissioners. Ballot been goal oriented. Uh, this item was a continuation, item number 70. So there's, it is difficult to come to a firm answer whether the funding would be in jeopardy or not. I have a question. Why did Hildy and Ron not wear masks? Why, it, not wear masks? why why were they let me finish my question. Why did they not wear a mask on Mondays in Monday's meeting? Why didn't I Well let's I I'm asking it. I'm asking that I'm right now. Well, that doesn't make any sense to me. Of course, it's a double standard. Can we ask Hildy? Yeah, that's the final say. Yeah, 
Hildy, 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 hold, hold on, please, Bella, hold on. Hildy, I love you and we love Ron, but why are we not allowed to go in there without a mask if you guys don't have to wear a mask? You know we're going to be asking that question. How does anybody answer so, that yeah, question? Guys okay, so we were refused entrance today into the Board of Supervisor meeting because we are not wearing masks. And, there, and the exemptions have not been honored at the Board of Supervisor yeah. meeting here at Mojave County Building. Don't dread on us, we're not afraid, you work for us, we're not your slaves, don't dread on us, you cross the line. 